Uh, today, we are going to be playing some Golgari. Golgari has a sick new combo in it. Innkeeper's Talent, combined with Vraska Betrayal Sting, one-shots your opponent. Just Splinter Twin. DBH. Just Splinter Twin. Because if you have the top mode of this, Vraska's then going to enter with 12 counters instead of 6. And then she minus 9s to give 18 counters instead of 9. And your opponent gets 18 poison, which is pretty hard to survive. So, nice little combo to have in otherwise, you know, solid Golgari mid-range deck with your Broncos, your Tiny Bones, your Bats, all that good stuff. Uh, should be fun. I did to try this one out. I thought it is quite strong. I mean, this sounds pretty great. I dig it, I dig it. Unto Bronco, what else could you possibly want? Oh, I hope they don't have a real spell. Okay, good news. Hmm, so talent plus level up uses my mana better. But I kind of want a Dread Knight to dig for lands. And Bronco's probably dying regardless, so not like we waste a counter. Ding, ding, ding. Found the land. Amazing. That's very good news. Oh my goodness. That's a fun card. All right, what does this do? Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a loyalty counter on Rao. Plus one, make an otter. Minus three, draw three, discard two. Minus 10, win the game. Wow, this card seems amazing. Good Lord. Um, I'm definitely casting a Dread Knight. Do I have to cast both? It seems, I feel like casting both is like a recipe for uh, not winning, so probably shouldn't do that. I think I'm just going to get the talent going instead, so I can attack down Rao. You do, in fact, love see it sales i agree yeah i need more cards for alta shrine that makes sense does seem like a very powerful card though once it gets the support uh classes don't have counters no sadly be kind of sick if they did oh that's a good card. Well, I assume we are just running out another one and somewhat hoping to find an untapped land for the level up. Oh my god, so good. That is beautiful. Hmm, so if I attack with this, they might double block. That acceptable. They really want to have a counter on both, so they can't like kill them easily. You could prolift the level of class. Yeah, it would be really messed up. <laughs> That's what it would be. Um I feel like attacking can't be that bad. We trade with both their things. And we have a Dread Knight that we can adventure next turn. And then this one is still able to pressure the Rao. Like, I, I think this is fine. Like, all we need to do is keep making sure they can't develop this Rao. And then I feel like we're in an okay spot. Say go. So, 
going to start with this. Get our value. Oh, they might fire off a counter. That's fine. Doesn't super matter. Bell dryer, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. Sometimes uh, opponents have Bell Guy in the constructed deck. Why not? Why not? Get in there for four. The ward mode on this is so sick. All right, they get back. Plot constructed. Oh, hey, galvanize, isn't it? Plot constructed. <laughs> Um, ooh, what am I doing? So I know I meant to like combo them with this card. However, I'm really tempted just to cast Vraska now, honestly, and get my two counters and feel pretty good about it. I don't know. This sounds pretty phenomenal to me. Like... <laughs> Not entirely sure what they're meant to do about that one. <laughs> uh, Liliana of the Veil seems heinous. They have so many tokens. The rest seems like a thing we want. Rule Claws Heist might be a thing we want. This is good at answering Otter tokens. I don't know that that's a thing I care about. Mayhaps. I don't know. We have Gix's command to do that. Uh, cut down seems pretty bad based on what we've seen. Maybe there's some reason I want it, but I'm going to get rid of it for now. Roll back any good? So possible. This is good as well. Hmm. When rat deck. <laughs> Do we, do we reckon there's a half vaguely playable rat deck? Oh, Tiny Bones might be a little bit weak here, I don't know. Put my copy. Like, what things are we Tiny Bones thing? Maybe we just don't want any Tiny Bones here. Kind of nice having some copies for the talent, though. Just as one drops. Hmm. All right. Fine hand. Oh, I'm always so awful at remembering to shout this stuff out. Uh, but YouTube channel has been doing well recently. Well, improving. I don't know when the line counts as it actually doing well, but it's been improving. Uh, so if anyone wants to check out VODs of my streams. That's a good place to do it. I have someone uh, managing the channel for me. And they are doing a very good job. So the Abrade kills the bat. And the talent supposedly does stuff. At least the Chandra is kind of unbeatable, but it's also a ways in the future. Oh, this makes Chandra cost less. That's so funny. Uh, I guess I'm taking the talent. I think that card's going to be annoying. Yeah, I should bring in the... I'm, like, very happy I brought in the, um... What's it called? Throwbacks. The throwbacks seem good here. Alright. Fire off the bats. Take this. Great. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a part of the reason I wanted to get it set up. It was just, you know, being aware that not everyone can actually catch the streams. We could just do another bat and force this three steps ahead, I guess. Might be better to do a talent though. We only really need one talent going, and I'm wonder worrying if we. <sighs> hmm. 
I'm worrying if I was to like do bat and then they kill this bat, the talents then don't do very much. So I guess this is fine. <laughs> Indeed, Sophia. Mm, this Chandra is looming, which is not particularly good for us. We do have a bat though. I'm gonna fire off the bat first to clear away for this talent. They have a counter spell we need to force the matter. Because whilst I was happy throwing away the first copy, the second copy cannot afford to waste. Just watch while you work the dream. <laughs> oh, I guess the ward is going to protect me from the minus X, huh? Interesting. So I take the shock. If I take the shock, things are going to cascade. But whatever. If they find a removal spell. All right, fire up this talent. Start growing our critters. Uh, I guess I grow one. I'm really in, yeah, because then I gain more life this time. All right, if they find a removal spell, they're still very much in this game. So you just get to uh, chain kill bats here. Maybe thinking of discover. Not, 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 not. Into the flood ball, wow. I mean, that kind of does it, except I get the bat back. So, only kind of. Hmm. Uh, all right, well, let's draw a card, see what we find. That is not a land. Um. So this is gonna force them to shock this, I guess. I guess I just go to combat and then I get to bat post combat. Let's see. Like, really tempting to take the three steps ahead. Uh, I can't imagine that's possibly correct, though. I'm gonna cut them off for removal. I have to draw an untapped land for this to be good anyway, and they find a tapped land, so it is in fact not good. It means we now get to grow our bats, and have it have ward, which makes us pretty safe here. I think I might want to double mode, just so I'm threatening Vraska at any point in the game. I guess they could look for a Into the Flood more to deal with this, but outside of that, Gonna be hard for them. All right, get a thunder trap trainer. And they find a pearl of wisdom. That's pretty good. Hard advantage going on there. Oh no! Don't bounce it. Mm hmm. Oh, they're killing the bat. Okay, that's fine, I think. Because now they die? I guess they, if they have a bounce spell, they don't die. Anyway, I'm just going for it. Enjoy your 18 poison counters. Phenomenal. It was a very really tense and interesting game up until the point where they got Splinter Twin.
Beautiful. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like this combo might actually have legs to it, which is like kind of a bit concerning. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to keep this, but. Oh, you can apply replacement effects in any order you want, Gwen, which is why it works. It's very silly, but it does work for some reason. You uh, do the replacement effect for doubling before you do the replacement effect for minus two. But you do have to choose to do it that way. It's just Arena auto applies it in the correct order. Whereas in paper, you would have to make the choice. All right, please let me draw a black source. Well, we should be so lucky. Uh, that's annoying. Hmm. A little bit punished for this keep. Hopeless nightmare. Oh my god. Crazy. Are they just gonna flicker all their stuff? Mm hmm. Let me see. Demo to ensure my black source. Yeah, maybe I should have. I'm not sure. I feel like this card's very good against them. Was part of my thinking, but oh, is this an actual thing people are playing? The black white discard deck. This is my first time seeing it. It's seeming pretty rude. <laughs> I won't, won't deny. Why did I play out the keep the tiny bones instead of the Raska? They don't have anything in their yard for me to get. Mm -mm. That was probably pretty bad of me. Ooh. This restless cottage is going to grow very large. My prediction. Oh, the Amaz deck. Right. I forgot that was a thing. Did the Amaz deck lose very much? Seems cool. <laughs> you hate them all. Yeah. I can't say it seems like the most fun deck in the world play against but I don't know it's doing some cool stuff craft with creature Let's see uh oh boy that's um Large and in charge. Snake, yeah. Sure is. I feel like I'm in a considerable amount of danger right now. God damn. Uh this stays on the fence, I only mostly die. Well, I take eight is the problem. I kind of have to cut down this instead of attacking with my cottage. Well, they also scryed to the tops. So they must have something. Hmm. I don't like any of this. <laughs> I don't like any of this. Um. Now that actually seems legitimately pretty reasonable.
Oh boy. I hate this. This is awful. Okay. Fiving blade not being an equipment is weird. It is an equipment, right? Isn't it? It just doesn't have an equip cross. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I didn't read it closely enough. Uh, Liliana of the Veil seems completely heinous. It's just an artifact. Okay, that is very strange. I agree. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, baffling. Cut down seems really bad, right? Unless I'm missing something. Maybe run is okay. It's like kind of a draw two. Hmm. Oh, it's not an equipment at all. That's so bizarre, yeah. No, I agree. It is weird it's not an equipment. Okay, I'll keep this. I guess that was the game where I had forest, forest, demolition field on turn three. It was kind of hard to read into it too much. I suppose. Let's just go ahead and dread whispers. I could also Bronco and force them to have the answer. Maybe that's fine. I kind of want to dig for my land, I guess. Seems pretty unlikely they won't have the answer. Rule Claws Heist. Okay, they draw me into my land. They get to take whatever they want, though. I assume they take the bats or the gopher throw. I guess he wants to take a removal spell to protect the Viper, eventually. They take the bats. Interesting. Um, A bit of me wants to sequence really weirdly and go Innkeeper's Talent level up, just to use my mana efficiently. Then I get to play Dread Knight plus Bronco on the same turn. To, um... Play around the edict effect. This is very, this does feel like strange sequencing though, but I think it makes sense. I wonder if their deck can play the bunny talent. Braids gets to sack a thing. Tiny bow. Interesting. So a bit of me wants to go for the Throatless and play the Dread Knight. The thinking being... The Dread Knight is very good against Edicts. If they have one in hand. And then we can play our other creatures whilst they're protected by the Dread Knight being in play. Bounce it, port, sweet. Bounce the Freyburn. Get another clue. Oh, they're playing the bat out first. They kind of have to take Gixes, right? Yeah, opponent agrees. So, is that a four free? They're probably not going to try and block it down. And I guess. I guess the, hmm, yeah, you, you ult with the complete cost as long as you apply the replacement effects in the correct order. Uh, 
Um, you can make it so you can't hold with the complete cost if you're not careful, but. What do they have? Zoraline. Getting back raids. That's pretty sick. Okay. Zoraline's very cool in that deck. Uh, decline. I'm really scared I'm just gonna die. Hmm. So if I activate, I get four counters and Dread Knight can be a nine eight and they still don't have to block it. But I guess I Cruel Claws heist them and see what they have. Maybe they have a removal spell I can take. They do not. They have a Viper. Uh, so Viper doesn't do anything for me. But also I kind of can't beat it if they cast it. So I guess I'm taking it. Hmm, sacking Dread Knight is so funny. Uh, interesting. Only as a sorcery. I don't know if this attacks are really legal. Okay, that was good. Now I can Viper if I sack the Bronco. And... I'd have to sack both talents. But I'd probably need this Dread Knight on defense, I guess. Would I need this Dread Knight on defense? Kind of. The Viper just doesn't even do anything. They have a million cards in hand. Yeah, I kind of feel I can't possibly win this game. Hmm. They're hitting me for eight in the air in their turn. Maybe I have to try and set up Braska ult. Maybe that was the plan, because now I die if they sack a artifact. Yeah, that deck's so cool. I've not seen it before. kind of love what it's doing. We should try out the black-white deck at some point. Uh, I cannot imagine I'm allowed to keep this. Alright. Gagari mid. Shocking news. Oh my god. Shocking news, I know. It's the black white deck again. I want to scream. I feel like this is gonna get old somewhat fast. <laughs> uh hmm.
Wow. What does this do? Two or less. Hmm. <sighs> Gets to hopeless nightmare me again. Great. Ooh, blocks. Oh boy. All right. Discard the demolition field. Opponent does have the land drop for the Zoraline, which is pretty bad news. I need this Bronco to be exceptionally generous to me. All right. Uh, I could draw a one drop or I could draw a tap land and which one I draw dramatically affects whether I want to play out the land or all wastes to cast that or just cast it as is. Anyway. Okay, next time I get to grow the bat, can actually do that much though at the moment. Go to free. Maybe our future isn't that long. It's seeming that way. Hmm. Interesting. Drawbacks, definitely don't want Liliana's. Definitely don't want these cutdowns. It's kind of weird. You almost do want the cutdowns because otherwise you die to a random pixies. But cutdown seems like pretty strategically weak against them. Those pixies really stacked up the damage. Indeed. Made a lot of work. Yeah, mulliganing against that is so brutal because they keep you so low on resources just at baseline. This format needs fatal push. I feel like the black removal in this format is already good enough. <laughs> Cut down plus go for the throat is already like several steps above uh, normal. I guess in three year standard that's not true. Three year standard's going to be stronger. All right. Seems fine. Red Knight seems like one of our best cards in the matchup, so. My opponent's hand is not the strongest, which helps as well. Cutdown is horrible. Cutdown's really fucked up, I don't know. Oh, Mia, hi. I think uh, cut down pretty heavily defines the range of what's actually playable to a more extreme extent than Fatal Push does. Like the fact you can cut down a bunch of free drops fairly trivially. Oh my god, this is so punishing for my line. I just didn't want them getting a card of bra braids, but I mean, this sucks for me, so hey. <sighs> Alright, discard the go for the fruit. I guess at least if Liliana minuses on Dread Knight, that's kind of fine. Right? Oh, do I want to play both? Kind of. I kind of want to play both. I don't think my opponent can reasonably play raids in that turn. Against this battlefield. Okay. Where are our Bailoffs? Oh my god, do we have to start putting Bailoffs in our sideboard? Bailoffs would be really fucked up against the Skolgari deck. 
I'm putting some bail offs in my sideboard. I'm I'm fed up of this go of this uh Orzov deck so much already. As soon as this match is over, we're putting like a bunch of those. Because <laughs> oh my god, that seems bananas. I could kill this Liliana. I kinda just want to draw cards though, I guess. So why not do that? Any decks that I want to try during this testing? I'm kind of just trying out, trying to try out different things generally. A wide open format. Phaser. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, that could have been a scarier Phaser, honestly. Can we please find a land. We cannot. <sighs> Oh my god, the hand. Okay. Uh well I guess I'm holding open. Go for the fruit. Apparently. It might just transform this diving weed there. Okay, then I kill Bazer and then I get to untap and do things. I think this is fine. Yeah, it's like not the most pleasant play against, but we're going to put three obstinate bailoffs in our sideboard and then we're never going to be able to lose <laughs> in a million years. Like, I don't see how their deck ever beats that card. Bit of me wants to kill this Bazer, but shouldn't. I should wait and be patient, I guess. Yeah, with Hostile Investigator. I'm surprised I haven't seen many hostile investigators. That card's kind of bananas. Mono red mid range and Boros Jeskai can invoke. Honestly, I haven't actually seen either deck yet. I don't really have any thoughts yet. Other than I kind of assume that Convoke is just baseline gonna be an incredibly strong deck. Uh I'd be pretty surprised if Convoke wasn't amazing, but yeah, I don't, I don't have any real deep thoughts or insights about it. Raska minus? It seems pretty good, right? Night dust removal. They don't even get the trigger. Great. I guess my opponent gets to play Braids and then, like, cash in the Bazer after this, but that's fine. This just slows them down so much. Comes the Braids. I guess we're going to take two off the Braids. Having a throat. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, they sacked the land. Okay. I assumed they were going to sack this artifact. I'm sacking a land, it's so good for me, right? Oh, just minus some braids? I could also just plus and uh, go for the throat. Hmm. This has to be pretty good, I think. I'm just gonna play this out and hold open the other throat instead of getting a uh, food where I can protect from novice inspector. Keep my Vraska around. <laughs> uh, what are they doing? Oh, uh, they have the bat. Oh, no, this is cute. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. This is a fairly slow clock, and we can gain food off the cottage. But honestly, I'm not too worried. My opponent does not have much going on. We can also gain life on Gix's command if we want to as well. We have a lot of options available to us. I wonder if I want to go, like, you sack your inspector, I get two counters, and then I proliferate. It also just get things back. Proliferate's going to protect from Inspector anyway. 
How many are in my yard? Oh, we only have the Bronco. Yes, I'm just gonna do this. This honestly seems pretty great. I know we're making them sack a thing that doesn't matter very much, but. Yeah, this much lifelink goes super hard. I'm gonna hold the land for a hopeless nightmare, I guess. I don't think they can really win anymore. Nice. Hey, shops. All right, y'all. No one's allowed to let me forget to put in obstinate bailoffs after this game. I need chat to, like, gang up among yourselves to be as obnoxious as possible with reminding me about obstinate bailoff. <laughs> um, let's just run it back. I've requested obnoxiousness from chat. chat. Dangerous request. I just, like... If we're going to keep queuing into the stack, I just want like two, at least two Bailoffs in my sideboard. <laughs> Make their life really miserable. <laughs> at least four Bailoffs. <laughs> I may have made a mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Obnoxious Bailoff. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> okay this sounds pretty good we have dread knight which again best possible also happily fire off this cruel claws heist on two potentially which i think is what i might want to do after they've passed the turn a couple times a four 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 wow Large and in charge. All right, let's take a look, see. So anoint does not matter, though it does answer Dread Knight. Zoroline doesn't do anything. So I guess I just take this Liliana and then they can't play out Zoroline. That was a pretty absurd Cruel Claws heist. <laughs> That was honestly pretty messed up. What a card. I'm kind of being sold on it. Kind of being sold on it. Bail off facts. <laughs> Obnoxious, the planeswalker. I think you need to workshop that one a bit more, Mir. <laughs> Bandit's talent. Uh discard this duress. I guess. The duress will protect me from anoint though, so maybe I'm meant to discard the go for the fruit instead, but that card's such a premium against them. Right, draw a card. Love to draw cards. Plus a Liliana. This has one power. Incredible. What is the point at which I'm allowed to discard a go for the throat? <laughs> um, probably now. All right, I think I just want to hold open go for the throw, probably. Could also just get talent down. That's pretty good, right? My opponent attacks with Restless Fortress, so I'm pretty okay with that. If they play Braids, I'm pretty okay with that. Like Viper, I'm pretty okay with. Yeah, I guess this is just fine. The Ran, that is exceptionally rude. Eight, talked into playing eight rack. <laughs> oh my god! Incredible. Uh, don't let yourself be talked into registering eight rack. Pro tip. 
I just want to keep plussing. I want to get this anoint with affliction out of their hand. So that my Dread Knight can take over. Nice. Okay. Play this Dread Knight. I want to play the land. I need to keep cards in hand, but I think I'm allowed to. Exile. Hmm, let me see. I could go for the Frota. Is that okay? It's like pretty fine, right? What do they do if I do that? The other option is I get to keep my Liliana on a million loyalty. All right, I convinced myself. <laughs> Ravenous fail off a jump start card. <sighs> Incredible. Yeah, our, our legions were successfully not ashed. Good news. Good news for everyone who likes unashed legions. Uh, am I playing out this bat? A real question. I do have to be careful about this talent. So I might not want to do that. I think I'm holding the bat. But holding open go for the throat for like any number of things. Okay, this is fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it, I guess. Why does it get to trigger? Oh, maybe I was meant to let the uh, combat happen so that I could potentially block the ram. But if my opponent doesn't go for that attack, I waste life. So I don't know. Tricky. Oh no, fountain pour. Right. We're going to be getting him with the cottage soon. Also, we drew like the best card in our deck right now. So I'm not too concerned. Get in for free. The beats begin. Play this Dread Knight. Hmm. So if I go Hellbent, they get to activate this and draw a card, but I get to plus my Liliana. And if they're activating this to draw a card a turn later, that's so slow. I think I think I'm happy going hellbent. It's like a whole turn cycle before they actually get to draw a card, and they'd have to spend all their mana setting it up. Oh, hey there! Standard's going great. I'm really enjoying it. It's uh, not super surprising. I thought old standard was phenomenal as well. So they've kind of like standards just been really. So standards definitely been really good since the bannings. I would I would probably go as far to say as it was good for a few months before then as well. But I understand why Fable needed to go. Um, but yeah, standards standards are really fun. I'm enjoying it. Take two. Get to Dread Knight again. Draw a card. If I swing with the cottage, Liliana will just die. I guess that's probably worth. Instead of developing a Dread Knight, I get a food out of the deal as well. Uh, we get to get stuff out their yard. So I guess Loran is the only thing Zoraline can really get back. Loran doesn't do anything at the moment, but I probably still want to take the Loran. I think I do not want to play out a land. 
Maybe I do because it lets me cottage plus double tutor up. I think it's fine to play out of land, but I'm not sure. Great. Pretty strong. It's fine. We'll just edict the Beza with the Liliana. It's okay. This does work, right? Yeah, Fountain Port can't protect it this turn. And then we're going to eat the Beza from the yard because of the Zoraline. I don't want them getting the Beza back. And also just getting in for four damage is really good. Oh no, it's three or less. Okay, they couldn't get back the Beza anyway. We're still going to take it. Oh, are we meant to be getting rid of the Lilianas instead? In that case? We probably are. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, fire off a bat. Let's see what they have. That down, sure. Go for it. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, we discard our land or our wastes, I guess. Acceptable. Doesn't particularly matter. I can activate I can activate two cottages, right? That's pretty great. Restless cottage is bananas. Shocking news. <laughs> it's kind of like Completely wild how much better Restless Cottage is, Cottage is than Restless Fortress. Completely different worlds. Completely different leagues. This is going to be a painful hand. Yeah, looked okay at the RC and didn't rotate much. Yeah, that's also another good reason. If I hold up and go for the throw and they play a 2, I get to steal it. Except if it's the stupid free 2, in which case, whatever, I'm just playing my talent. Mm, as much as I'd love to steal a Bronco, seems a bit unreliable. They're not just going to, like, play into the removal spell, right? All right, please don't kill my tiny bones. Wow. I just have nothing. Crazy, yeah. Are we going to get Liliana instead? And that would be pretty bad for me. Oh, it's popular because of streamers. That also makes sense. All right, I am very dead. I cannot possibly win. That is nice. I'm still one easily. I'm on a white mid-range to get bunful. It's all about that bunful. Hmm. I don't really want to discard the two for one. But yes, I discard a go for the pro. I don't know. Uh, Bunfall is Sunfall plus... Uh, it's just mono white midrange. You, you play... What's it called? Caretaker's Talent. You play a bunch of bunny cards that draw you cards off the Caretaker's Talent. It's really sweet. Continue to be unable to win. We keep losing to Liliana, which feels very strange. 
It feels like our deck should be pretty good against Liliana, but we kind of are getting murdered by her pretty consistently. It's fine, we're gonna bring in obstinate bailoffs. We are we are ready for the Liliana of the Veil matchups. Okay. Good card. Slightly awkward because the enemy doesn't want to kill that Bronco. Because if I draw a land, I get to like assemble a slightly meaningless two for one. Or I could draw the biggest possible punish to not killing the Bronco instead. Yeah, maybe that was bad. Maybe I was just meant to kill it. I kind of believe that might be the case. Hmm. Now I'm pretty obligated to kill it this turn. It means I don't get to develop a 2-drop. We develop a Dread Knight otherwise. Alright, if I discard the Bat, I then have two creatures in my yard I can get back. Hmm. Now I have to choose between killing Bronco or Cottage. Unfortunately, I think I have to kill Cottage because otherwise these Gix's commands are heinous. Does mean they get a card there. Okay. Ah, <sighs> boy. That down lets me kill this. Now I have a 5 4. That's good. I kind of have to edict on this, which buys me time from the Liliana. Wow, they're making us discard. Interesting. I guess they could have a go for the fruit. You miss having two drops that find a land or scry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. To be fair, Bronco wins the game if you ever untap with it. That's like pretty good. <laughs> it might not find a land or scry, but it's still pretty good. I should have waited because they might have uh, played this out. Though I kind of don't want them to play it out, so arguably a good thing I didn't wait. No. Yeah. Single-handedly lost the game to Liliana again. I wonder what you're meant to do about her. It feels very strange that we keep losing to her, because you'd think Dread Knight would line up really well against that card. Maybe the thing that's actually happening is Gix's command keeps looking really embarrassing. Which is definitely true. Gix's command has looked, like, very embarrassing just generally. We keep not playing against aggro decks. I would have assumed this would be a good card in this matchup, but yeah, when we're on the play. Hmm. It's fine, they're going to play a Liliana and we're going to discard a Bailoff, and then the game's going to be... Just, be... just be done? Done right there. How good it is cut down? It was Bronco. It, pr it probably means we just need to max... Cut down. Bronco is that scary. Feels weird not having Hostile Investigator in. Probably should be in. Alright, obviously we would never actually have four Obstinate Bailoffs in our sideboard. We're just uh, embracing the meme for an hour. <laughs> Alright, we're just embracing the meme. No, they know about our Bailoff! Duress? That's crazy. I'm like, a little surprised by Duress. Alright. Please don't kill the Bronco. 
Burnt duet. Burnt duet. I'm not getting priority. All right, that's good news. I don't really care if this gets Liliana'd. It's like a two for one because they can never plus the Liliana in a million years. So, yeah, this game's over. Uh, kill that. Draw another card. I guess conceivably we could have missed a land drop and then maybe been behind, but. Another Preacher, huh? I mean, I'm pretty happy to trade this Bronco for this Preacher. It's kind of done its job at this point, so. Hmm, do I want to investigate her? No, then they could discard a bro uh, bail off when they could lose. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We figured out the reason why we should not do that. We hit a lamb, we can just brasco in next turn. That's true. Like it's pretty nice to develop though. Doesn't feel like we have to go for the combo. We take one. Oh, we get to play out tiny bones. Actually terrifying on this board. Like I worry if I just level up the talent and they kill the talent suddenly, that's like a pretty decent tempo swing in their favor. We'd probably still be ahead, but not quite the absurd extent we currently are. Gix's command, sure. We just get to replay that Dread Knight. Mm hmm. Now here I could level up, but I could also do this. Seems pretty nasty. All right, the fact they've seen the bail off might mean I have to take out a couple bail offs for game three. That it's not as reliant on discard as all of us. Um. I'm just so terrified of ever casting Hostile Investigator if, like, my opponent has this card, but who knows. I guess that's what Cruel Claws Heist is for, right? You get to snipe their hand and exile the Bailoffs. So embarrassing. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to keep this because it's kind of dead if we're kind of dead if they have turn two Bronco. We do kind of just lose on the spot. Okay, they do not have Bronco, thank goodness. The bad, I kind of just want to cast the front side of a Dread Knight. Probably bad. All right. Alan is good. Gets us towards that combo. Oh my God, they miss a land drop. That's huge for us. That is phenomenal. Mm, 
can't answer that preacher, sadly. I guess I can block. Uh, annoyingly, if I take a pain, they can take a pain. I could draw a card of Dread Knight, though, and then that stops them getting both triggers. Yeah, I think we're going to draw a card of Dread Knight and then cast the front side. Because then Tiny Bones can block, and we can also do a double block with both Dread Knights. That good? Hmm. Unclear. Unclear. Oh, if this is a 4 free, it gets to block. Okay, cool. We figured it out. It's way better. They can only deal one damage to themselves, so they can't get both preacher triggers. But at the moment they do they draw a card, which is like good, but they have a million cards already. We can cope with that. I think at the moment it's just about who's ahead on board. Rather than cards in hand. That's true, Vivi. If they do that, I think I'm pretty thrilled, but Alright, they don't attack. Amazing. Ugh oh my god. Yeah. That's a throw back. Like, you go Raska minus. That doesn't sound hugely appealing. I think I just want to go Bat plus Dread Knight. We did get throw back. True. So many removal spells. <laughs> um. Uh, I feel like it doesn't matter what I take. So. <laughs> the hand is so silly. Alright, I guess the problem is now they can enable a preacher attack, right? They can kill two creatures. And that would stink. Yeah, I think I'm actually very far behind now. I kind of feel like I can't really win anymore. <laughs> um, Because they just get to kill whatever I block with every turn. I guess I can Braska Minus. That is an option for later. But yeah, this is a little spooky. Oh, they're just letting the trade happen. That's crazy. I'm really surprised by that. I just thought they'd want to keep this preacher around. I guess these Dread Knights are pretty scary because we can't really block them very well, apart from of our Dread Knights, but then things get really weird. I wonder if I'm meant to attack with my creatures here. So. They have to block Tiny Bones. I guess regardless of what's happening with this. Minus a Dread Knight. Yeah, maybe we have to start minusing on them soon. I'm wondering that as well. Get rid of those abilities. If they get too frisky with their attacks, Tiny Bones becomes a thing they have to deal with. Luckily, we have the mana advantage, which is pretty huge at the moment. But things are definitely spooky. Wow, they're not attacking? That's crazy, right? That's wild. I guess they figured forcing trades is bad when they when they're at a mana disadvantage, maybe. Hmm. Alright, I just want a Vraska minus two on a dread knight. Before I see a mana. I could do. I feel like the extra loyalty is worth more than casting another card. But maybe I'm wrong. 
Also, our life totals kind of dwindling <laughs> as well. So. I'm just using a removal spell on Braska. That's true. Yeah, I guess you're right. We'd be like on six life though, but we'd have a bail off in hand. Yeah, maybe we would have just meant to double spell and get the Bronco down. You're probably right, BB. Another Dread Knight. Phenomenal. <laughs> well, uh, simply just treasurize all their knights, indeed, one by one, the knights fall. Rask is kind of sick in the mirror. So I guess if they have two removal spells, they can kill both of these and swing at Vraska, but that's, like, acceptable, I think. And that's kind of the worst case. I guess the actual worst case would be Gix's command. Two counters, I sack a knight, they attack for five. That would suck. <laughs> that would be bad. Hmm. Let's hope they don't do that one. Red Knight down, sure. Goes on an adventure. Liliana of the Veil. So the good news is they can never plus this. Oh well, they can plus this, but... <laughs> oh my god. Oh... <laughs> This is fantastic. Um, okay. I plus I go to five. Mm. <laughs> Cast Bailoffs. They go, there's no way there's another Bailoff. Mm -hmm -hmm. Powerful. I don't think I'm allowed to use this Dread Knight. It costs me so much life. I am going to activate my Braska though. Uh, huh? Okay, but I might legitimately want to cast a bail off for the life gain. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> um. Nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I refuse. Opponent, you want to plus that there, Liliana? <laughs> the perfect hand. <laughs> this is this is how we drew it up when we added this card. Great, they're gonna plus their Liliana. They're gonna be like, okay, at least we got through the bail off, and then they're gonna cast a hostile investigator. Oh yeah, we did cut a fourth bail off. That's true sales. I forgot that. <laughs> this is all of them. <laughs> wow. We drew the set. Opponent staring deep into their soul. Okay, they get back two creatures. Sure. You wanna plus that? I assume the fact they're playing a land means they're not plussing. Alright, that's acceptable. Honestly, fine. I'm gonna double block. Keep my Braska healthy. That's a, that's a bat. Alright, that's plus. 
Let's uh, play out a Bailoff. Oh, I guess I can cruel cl Oh, if that this cost me a life, that's probably fine. I guess I'll just bat instead. Hmm. I, uh, I'm planning on leaving that Liliana alive. This is very much a part of the plan. Hmm. Yes, I just exile this. And then try not to get confused. All right, play this out. Powerful. Attack them. Not suspicious at all. Not suspicious in the slightest. <laughs> Everything is fine, do not fear. Ooh, my Vraska! She was only a four, four and a half for one, or something like that. <laughs> no, Mona, plus, plus, please. Oh my god. Alright, if we play against Graveyard Trespasser at some point, that's gonna be nice. I almost want to keep the untapped land, but if I was on the play, I would probably keep the untapped land. Tiny bones value. Oh my god, the mole to five, you say? Okay. Oh, did tre Trespasser rotated? That's so heartbreaking. I guess we're not, not going to do that. They're playing the best deck. They're playing the best deck, chat. Hmm. Do I bat? If they have, um... Stupid enchantment. Talent. We have to take it, so... Wild. Bezer is, like, pretty spooky. Token white? I assume they are token white, right? Collector's Vault's pretty funny with talent. I just realized that. If I take Bazer, they have to ossify one of my critters. And then we maybe get to stop the max value Bazer trigger. Or stop them ossifying something we care about. I don't know, this might be loose. I'm really unsure. Is it gonna force them to draw a fourth land? Oh, they're just going for the collector's vault. Interesting. Okay. Get in there with the team. Draw a card. I have to assume this matchup is pretty heinous, but they are exceptionally good at answering creatures. Okay, and keep his talent, sure. Uh Play out this. Move to combat. The counter on tiny bones. I could try and protect the bat instead. And just level this up. I imagine there's decent odds we're about to get sunfold. So Yeah, let's just get our value. Play around the sun form. Having talent going will make every single creature pretty spooky. A collector's soul is actually weirdly appealing. 
body rotated so white cards are unplayable. Oh, that is how it works. You're right, man. <laughs> hmm, another talent, huh? All right, fire off the bats. Um, messed up. Mm, nothing in the yard. All the cards are so good. Why aren't we playing that deck? I think Eternal Wonder is weirdly beautiful. Maybe, maybe I'm going to regret that comment, but. Like, if they put an Eternal Wanderer in play, I think she just kind of dies. They discard Eternal Wanderer. Non-land permanent, I see. Okay, that's a very strong card. God, Collector's Vault plus Talent is kind of incredible. All right, I know what we're playing tomorrow now. <laughs> I genuinely would never have considered Collector's Vault, but it seems spectacular. Are the lands mandatory for this deck? Uh, I mean, casting your spells is pretty good, so I assume so. I have historically not been an enjoyer of Collector's Vault, but I will say that, like, in their deck, it does seem like an overperformer. I'm, I'm very interested in it. Am I opposed to collecting or vaults or both? An excellent question. Um, if I cast Dread Knight, I run headfirst into Sunfall. And if I don't cast Dread Knight, I kind of just lose two magic cards. So I guess I am going to cast my Dread Knight. What creatures have Ward 3? They have three instances of Ward 1, which I believe is actually distinct, because it's better against, like, Stifles. <laughs> for whatever that's worth. Um. Oh, if I go for the Throat this, now if they Sunfall, they lose, right? Because then I just kill them with Restless Cottage. All right. Better versus Tishan is tied by there. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, okay, you get a blocker. That's pretty good. Yes. You still die, right? This is a lethal bat. What am I missing? They could have a removal spell. It doesn't really work against my creatures. Does it make the bones less tiny or just stronger? Hmm. Really asking all the deep questions today. Yeah, if I swing out, they live at one. They might be hoping that. They might also have get lost, but it just doesn't work. So. Seems improbable. Wow. 
We successfully be beat the mold five. Very impressive, I know. <laughs> I'm proud of my accomplishment too. Uh, Screw Flipper was not great, but also it did win us that game. Probably staying on the team. Because Command seems pretty heinous. Tiny Bones is like a little heinous. It can do things though with duress. I guess it kind of won us that game in a sense, in that it was a warm body to put counters on. I guess skeletons lit. That's literally not true. It's a skeleton. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you would contest that. Yep. I uh, honestly same. Honestly, same. Uh, hmm. Hmm, I see. Body also semantically arguable. What? Wait, what is the cycle plan? Dawn's truce. Enchant. I'm, I'm just gonna take the get lost, I guess. Take the relevant card. Hmm. They literally can't demo field for a white source right now. Uh, I should probably look for my land drops. I should fail to find a land drop. Alright, I can't reasonably block, so I guess I'm attacking. Another colorless land, beautiful. I guess they get to start drawing cards. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, Red Knight plus draw card? That seems fine. I'm a little bit worried about getting poisoned out, but... Classic Scrav's Hive into Lockdown Curve. Scrav's Hive is going to be pretty fantastic with this Fountain Pool, at least. That's kind of spooky. There's a bricks, finds a plains. Makes me feel less bad about just running out this cottage. Ah, uh, so if I play the talent, it gets disenchanted, which stinks. Hmm. I don't think I'm allowed to cast any more creatures. I guess I'm Liliana plussing. It was a bit weird. And then next time we get to Vraska. All right, they sack a token. And then sacking a token makes me feel less bad about maybe swinging Red Knight though. Might be correct. Do I want to swing? Kind of. Uh, Liliana loses a loyalty. I don't know that that matters that much though. Three damage feels like a lot to pass up on. At the moment. Yeah, we could be proliferating our Liliana soon. That's going to be kind of sick. Haven't actually had that come up yet. The <laughs> Scrawl Pive turn plan. Yeah, we're only on one poison. Like, it's not that unrealistic, right? 
All right, this might be where I end up really regretting not still having to go for the throw over the innkeeper's talent. If they play a Bazer, I guess Bazer isn't even that bad for us. Okay, that one's pretty bad for us. Be a token, sure. Why not? I get creature, so it can't hit the talent, sadly. I guess we're just gonna zero. It is a lot of value, it sure is. Oh, next time they can make their tokens free freeze. All right, I guess they're sacrificing one. Oh, if they make them free freeze, it can kill this Vraska, so this Dread Knight needs to stay home. I actually feel incredibly dead. Honestly. Like, I really don't know what I do here. Please let me block. All right, we do get to block. We're gonna lose the Liliana, but we get to keep Vraska for something. I guess they could lock down to get a Vraska answer. They choose not to do that. Um. Oh. Draw a card. Why did it tap like that? We just don't know. We just do not know. Okay. Yeah, opponent is definitely in the process of turning the corner right now. It is true. Yeah, it likes to use your colorless sources. Indeed, indeed. I mean, we just have to protect this back, because otherwise they get lost my Vraska and I have kind of nothing relevant. Um, I guess I'm... The problem is if I cast two bats, they get to hit the Vraska for a lot. But also, I feel like I literally lose if I don't do that, so... You and permanence you control gain hexproof. I guess that's the other problem, right? They can just uh, protect themselves from the second bat. But at least the lockdown will get the hive off the table. Okay. Cool. And in for one. They're gonna go to eight. Wait, are they actually sacking a token? I guess they need to find something. They're kind of forced to sack a token. Well, that means my Vraska is gonna be a lot more healthy. And it also means they can't put me to free poison this turn. They gain lifelink. He takes free. Gaining hex proof as a proof as a player is really neat. Yeah, it is. It seems like a cool constructed card. If Sunfall wasn't the best sweeper in standard, it would probably be even better, but it still seems pretty good. Hmm. Oh. I get to make a free free on my instep. Raska is gonna die. Does Vraska have the minus to answer one of their free frees? And then we just cross our fingers that somehow they have literally nothing. It seems incredibly unlikely this works. 
problem. Heroing. Maybe we find a discard spell. All right. Hmm, maybe what I actually have to do here is play the talent and force them to spend the disenchant so I can draw another talent for the combo kill. I guess so. It makes my sequencing look really janky, but... Whatever happened to free bats and you're out. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> X proof can block the combo kill, that's true. I'm just not sure what else we can do. We just can't do anything at the moment. Right? Not really. Alright, so the board's gonna get wiped. Then we have a replacement Vraska, but they have a get lost. I'm getting the sense that Caretaker's talent is going to become very obnoxious given a few weeks. <laughs> um, like, uh, card is kind of bananas. All right, I go get a land. This is a very large incubator token. Oh wow, that's so sick against Go for the Throw. And then that's going to kill our Braska. Yeah, I think we can pack this up. We could probably have packed it up like several turns ago, but. Yeah, it does seem like they over it a little bit, but I don't know. Caretaker's talent's just that good. <laughs> it's, uh, when you're drawing an extra 10 cards in the game, it's pretty hard to lose. The corner was well and truly turned, indeed. All right, final, final game. Let's see how this goes. Play the bat black talent and mill them out. I have been wanting to play a deck with the black talent at some point, not necessarily like this one, but. Dress into Bronco is a phenomenal opening. And we have the frill back for the hives. The hive doesn't really matter. I think I just take ossification and hope that Bronco takes over the game. Like, this is the opening you play black decks for in standard. One mana interaction, Bronco, easy game. All right, get in there for two. We draw a Dread Knights. Um, I kind of just want to draw a card of the Dread Knight. To look for our fourth land for this rollback, but maybe that's silly. 
I don't know. I don't know what they could have that could like answer the Bronco that they couldn't have used last turn. They, they could go bricks into lay down arms, I guess. Hmm. There's another Bronco. They take one, go to 17. We have our single go for the throat. Kill four. Uh, we only have the one, so that's honestly incredibly lucky. What a strange card. I guess it doesn't get cut down. I don't know. I don't know that I love that one, but. Alright, they're getting a lot of 1 1s. Hopefully, we hit a land this turn. It would be good. That's not quite the one we we're looking for, but okay. I wonder if I just have to force the matter on this Sunfall. Yeah, I think. Like, letting them get lifelink is sad, but I think I'm just gonna Dread Knight and Crew. Try and push some damage. Hmm, we drew an untapped land. That's also good. <sighs> so I want you back to the Sunfall. Then they get to hit for two. That's really bad if they have two sweepers in hand. That's the problem. Next time we get to kill this before the lifelink matters. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this for now. Yeah, they just sum for anyway. Cool. So we got our card out the deal. They get a 5-5, five five, which is obviously very strong, but probably manageable. Uh, let's just go Bat Bronco. I don't... Killy want to prioritize killing this hive. I just want to make sure they don't have anything spooky in hand. Throw them down a bit. Another hive. Weirdly not actually very spooky, I think. I think actually kind of slow. Alright, so. Um, I guess they're hitting me for five of this potentially. Putting me to six. But I'm probably just going to end up having to throw back next turn. Which means I should probably Bronco and then I can crew the Bronco with the throw back. I can go destroy gain four. And suddenly my life total is not under threat. Interesting. Guards at Scrub's Hive, sure. I'm okay with that. They have a defensive 5-5 five five here, but if I kill it, I get in with the Bronco. It sounds pretty good, I think. Is it actually worth double paying? Do we actually care about our life total at this point? Not that much, right? Also, having a... Hmm, yeah, I guess this is fine. We can play another two drop, because like we have so many cards, it doesn't really matter if another one gets answered by a sweeper. I convinced myself. If they'd attacked me last turn, I would gain life here, but they did not, so... Yeah, it's not clear that it's actually going to help with that, because they're going to take some damage here, but... It's true that lower life total can matter against that. We are attacking. But I want to talent. It's pretty sad to run it into a lockdown, but lockdown's so bad for them. So I guess I would like to talent instead of Dread Knight. Although, if we Dread Knight, we can block. I guess if we draw a discard spell of Bronco, we're going to feel very silly.
There's lateral wastes, they go to eight. Doing pretty good here. Kraut's Hive is not looking like the most impressive against Salak. I think really what's happened is they haven't drawn Caretaker's talent this game. Like, obviously they can still win this game. They're doing fine, but... Caretaker's talent makes such a big difference. Alright, we... Damage. They have a lot of stuff. Hmm. So if you want to set up the talent kill. And gain some life in the process. Hmm. They do run Dawn's Truce. Yeah. It is what it is. Okay, duress. They could have won. I wonder if I was meant to attack with Frillback too. Oh my god, they drew the good card. Rick. They put me to one? I'm so happy I have a blocker. But also they gain eight. But also we combo them, right? <laughs> so it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't know why I'm worrying. God damn, Caretaker's talent is so good. It was almost enough to get them back in. Yeah, or they can tap out. It's, it's, a, it's a legal choice. The silly thing is the Rask is already lethal. <laughs> we just answer the gnome and they would die. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, the the combo didn't matter. They were just dead to the Raska minusing on their creature, but... <laughs> that was a bit close, yeah. That was terrifying. Alright, I'm cutting some obstinate bailiffs. We've, we've done our memeing. This deck felt, this felt pretty good. I've liked the Broncos a lot. Surprised you don't see them in every one of these... Splinter Twin decks. So.